Hello, I'm Francisco Ruiz, the author of FastLock Privacy App, which is now in version 1.6. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to verify the authenticity of the app itself. Right now, I'm loading uh, a beta of uh, FastLock from a file, but when you obtain it, it will come from some web source. My preferred web source is an Italian server by name Autistici. It only delivers by HTTPS. It's important that you verify the authenticity of FastLog because it's entirely possible that an enemy might have altered the, the source in some server into something that appears to log and appears to work but really doesn't, in which case you will be entrusting your secrets to something that is open to a third party. Only by having the genuine article you can be sure that it has not been tampered with. Of course you can always look at the search code and convince yourself but it's not so easy to read everything in the source code. So what do you do? Let's say that you have just downloaded the app, it's showing in your screen, and then the first thing you want to do, you want to take the source. You get the source by doing, depending on the browser, you do Control U on Windows, or you do Control Option U on a Mac. Unfortunately, this is quite difficult to do on a smartphone right now, so I recommend that you do this on a computer. Here is the source code, which you can read. FastLock is quite transparent. Everything is readable. In this case, is that we're going to copy it all. Control A, Control Copy, we'll copy it. And now we're going to take its SHA-256 in order to convert the whole thing into a string. You can do that in FastLock itself. You can come to More, and I can just copy there and the SHA-256 hash appears right at the top. In order to make things easier, I have another copy of passlock right here. So I'm going to actually copy this and paste it there so we can compare it later on. Okay, this is from, from passlock. Okay. Let's see what this particular website, which does an SHA-256 hash calculator, will do. I've done the same thing. I pasted it on here. And, and I'm scrolling all the way to the top because most of these uh, web utilities leave a space at the beginning, which is undesirable, like, like this. So I want to get rid of that. Unfortunately, it's pretty long. It's more than 6,000 lines, so I got that ahead of time. And then I come here and calculate SHA-256 hash. So here it is. Now I can copy it and I can paste it here and see that this is the same. This is from Sorbin. In fact, I can add uh, some, some dashes every four spaces. The better to compare what the two strings are. It'll just take a second. Okay, sorry, one less. There. So we can see that these two seem to be the same. That's encouraging. Now, is this the, the authentic string that I should get? I know that because if I look at the help system from the uh, from this screen, from the more screen, the very bottom item has a link that tells me all the process that I just told you about, uh, and then a link to another page that contains the version number, the current version number, the sources, and also what the ID should be. It's an independent, completely independent file. So let me copy that and paste it here from file. Okay, and I can convince myself that these are the same. They look the same to me. If there is any difference, normally it will be a lot of difference, that means that your copy is not genuine, or at least it's not the one that is referenced in the mirrors file. If it is, you can be assured that it is the same, because just the change of one single bit in, um, in the file will cause half of the bits 
in the hash to change. So you end up with something completely different. So thank you and enjoy using Passlock.